Now that we discussed photochemical as well as thermal electrocyclic reactions, let's take a look at the following example that deals with the photochemical version. So if trans 3,4-cyclobutene undergoes a photochemical electrocyclic reaction, determine what the isomer or isomers of 1,3-butadiene will form. So the first step is to basically draw our initial starting material. So we begin with the 3,4-cyclobutene, the trans 3,4-cyclobutene. So let's begin with our molecule. The molecule looks something like this. So we basically have one bond, two bond. We have the third bond and our fourth bond. We have the pi bond here. Now we have some sort of arbitrary hydrocarbon groups that are trans with respect to one another. So let's suppose that the hydrocarbon on this carbon is pointing up. So that means our H on this is pointing down. Now here, because we're trans, the H is pointing up and the R is pointing down. So this is trans 3,4-cyclobutene. So we have trans 3,4-cyclobutene. Now we have the energy source is light. So that basically means we have a photochemical reaction. And so the only type of rotations that are possible in a photochemical reaction are the two types of this rotations. Con rotations only take place in thermal electrocyclic reactions. So this rotation means that they either go this way or opposite. So in both cases, the rotations, the two orbitals rotate in the opposite direction. So let's suppose in the first this rotation, this bond rotates this way while this rotates in the opposite direction. So we're both going inward. So this is rotating counterclockwise and this is going clockwise. So going inside is clockwise, going out of the board is counterclockwise. So we have our light source, which we designate with Planck's constant H multiplied by F. So basically the molecule that we form in this case is as follows. We have the two pi bonds here. So this rotates into or out of the board and that means it will point in this direction and the H will point here. In this case, the H goes into the board, the R goes out of the board and so here the R points this way, the H points this way. So we also have an H here and we have an H here. So in this case, we have the H's pointing opposite. So this is our trans pi bond and this pi bond, this double bond is cis because they point in the same direction. So we have trans cis 1, 3, buta dine. Now, what about in the case that this rotates into the board, so clockwise, and this rotates out of the board, so counterclockwise? That's the second type of this rotation that could take place. So let's examine that right after I finish that word. Okay, so let's redraw our molecule, the same trans 3,4 cyclobutene. So we have our four bonds, our cyclobutene, we have our R pointing up, the H pointing down, the H pointing up, the R pointing down. And now the other type of this rotation is a disrotation in which this goes into the board clockwise and this comes out of the board, so counterclockwise. So we basically add our light source, HF, and this is also a disrotation. Remember, photochemical electrocyclic reactions only rotate in the disrotation fashion. So now we form the following molecule in which the R goes into the board. So now the R is here and here the R basically comes out of the board. So now we have an H here. Uh, or is this correct? No, I'm sorry. 
if if this if this comes out of the board then this r group goes into the board this h comes out of the board so we have an h here we have an r here and we have an h here so now we also have our two h's of course which will help us determine if we have cis or trans. So this double bond is our cis, they're pointing on the same direction, and in this case, it's trans. So we have cis trans, one, three, buta, dine. So these two molecules are basically equal. They're equivalent molecules. So we see that when trans, 3,4 cyclobutene undergoes a photochemical electrocyclic reaction, the only type of isomer that we form is the trans cis or the cis trans. It's the same exact thing, 1,3-butadiene. Now, if we examine the case of a thermal electrocyclic reaction, in that case, we would produce trans trans or cis cis. 